Okay, so here we have a ready duck um, that was found on the street last night, sort of running and flapping around. Uh, we're going to do a quick physical exam and then we can talk a little bit about ready ducks. So, from under the towel here, we're going to first examine his face. He's very bright and alert. So you can see he's a very compact, small little face. He's very angry with me right now, but I want to make sure he doesn't have any jaw fractures. His eyes are nice and clear, doing well. A little bit of maybe dried blood right there, but very little. So cover his face to make him a little calmer with the rest of the exam. We can examine each wing. This wing feels fine. You can see his legs sticking out there. Ruddy ducks are a diving type of duck, so their legs are very far back on their body, which makes walking almost impossible for these guys. So when he was found in the road, he was flapping his wings, trying to fly. He was probably half flying, half walking. Um, that leg feels fine. I'm going to switch him to the other side. Examine his other wing and leg. There's a little bit of dried blood on this wing. As, on this wing. Under there, we can see a little bit of dry blood. When I palpate, I feel radius and ulna fracture, so I'm going to stop palpating that. We'll take some x-rays under anesthesia. This leg feels fine, so I think we're mostly dealing with a wing fracture. Um, so he could have hit a power line or a car or something like that, or he could have just crash landed. They can often see the road um, and think it's like the blacktop. They think it's a body of water and they crash land because they're Legs are so far back on their body, they can't walk to get back in the water. So we'll um, anesthetize them, take some x-rays, and see if we can fix this wing.